The church puts a lot of emphasis on getting saved, as it should. But now that you are saved by grace through faith, what will you actually be doing in the next age? We really don't hear a lot of teaching about this. Will we be floating on a cloud playing a harp for all eternity? No. Or will we be only praising and worshiping the Lord nonstop forever and ever as one of a heavenly choir of 10,000 times 10,000 saints? Scripture tells us otherwise. It tells us that we will be reigning with Christ in his millennial kingdom on earth. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. Coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. Revelation 19 And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss and holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil, or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. I saw thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. They will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. Therefore we will be busy reigning with Christ over his kingdom for a thousand years. But we will not all be engaged in the same service since we will not all be given the same level of authority in his kingdom. Some of us will be given great authority to reign with Christ, and others will be given less authority. How much authority would you like to have to reign over the nations on behalf of the King of Kings? It depends on how fruitful and productive you are in this life for him. This is what the Apostle Paul called the eternal reward, which is separate, distinct, and in addition to salvation. Now, of course, Scripture says, For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it. But each one should build with care. If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, which are very expensive, or wood, hay, or straw, which are cheap, their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but yet will be saved even though only as one escaping through the flames. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done well in the body, whether good or bad. At the judgment seat of Christ, believers will receive their eternal reward, which will in part consist of authority to reign with the Lord Jesus. How much authority you will be given depends on what you do on earth for Jesus Christ, whether good or not so good. The Elijah Challenge equips believers to be maximally fruitful for Jesus Christ in this life in order that they may receive their eternal reward in full in the next age. Watch for our next video in this series. The Determination of Your Eternal Reward